something uh, I want to tell you a quick story about my uncle uh, his name is Uncle Felix and he went to uh, Melbourne when he was 19 years old uh, with about 20 Aussie dollars in his pocket and he's the kind of guy that's very adventurous uh, he's he's crazy like basically uh, in a good way, and sometimes maybe not, but uh, he went to Australia, he told me this story, uh, because his girlfriend went a year before that, and uh, and she was studying, uh, but uh, he wasn't interested in studying. He went there, and uh, he started to work two, three jobs, no. uh, just to earn a keep. Uh, and then he says when his uh, girlfriend finished work, uh, he would take her out for dinner, and they were party almost all night, uh, up to about maybe two o'clock in the morning. You know, I don't know. Uh, he's not really Christian yet. Uh, mm -hmm. His Catholic background, but I don't, even that also, I think maybe he's not uh, a staunch Catholic. But anyway, the story is this, uh, that uh, he will play almost all night uh, and then he get up for work again at five. So he told me that for about two, three, four years, he was sleeping only, I don't know, three hours. Uh, and then he looked at me, he smiled. He says, Kenny, he calls me Kenny. Uh, I don't regret it um, because I got to do everything I wanted to do. Uh, and, and then he added this, you know, uh, who, who said cannot? And by him saying that, I, I think I got him. Lah. He's saying there's no law in this world to tell me that I can't. Mm. Uh, the only one that can tell me I can't, it's really me. Uh, my, uh, my health, um, my enjoyment, uh, my fulfillment, uh, my belief. Uh, he said there was just no law. Sometimes we live our lives under invisible laws, you know. How can? How can you do that? <laughs> And then you just have to look at, at, at this person and go like, who said cannot? And I tell you, that's why Pastor Matt, uh, X Church is where we are today, AYA. Uh, we had a clinic. We had Because after my uncle told me that about 25, uh, maybe 30 years ago now, mm -hmm. I came out with this, and this is a good thing. All right? I, I don't... <laughs> I won't uh, subscribe to his kind of lifestyle, huh? going to discos <laughs> almost every night and just he wanted to spend time with his girlfriend but later on became wife. Uh, and uh, I won't subscribe to that because I think it's a bit crazy. But I took a little bit of that craziness into my spirit and, 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 um, and said to myself, who said cannot? Who was the one who put the bar over me? Mm. Who set the limitations? Because my Bible says, with God, all things are possible. And he also says, all things are possible to them that believe. So all we need to do is believe. Now, so back to this question again, I, I want to give both, uh, you know, pro and cons. Uh, do whatever you, it is that you believe uh, you can. Uh, and don't let anybody say, there is this limit. There is, you no, know, you can't. Who, how can you take two jobs? How can mm -hmm. you take three jobs? Uh, you can and still serve the Lord. I mean, who has ever said you cannot? And if you ever say you cannot, it is you who have put that limitation over you. Mm -hmm. Okay? Uh, I am into breaking limitations, breaking uh, mindsets, uh, breaking the I cannot because the Bible says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. But I also want to add this. Lah. Make sure it's worth it. Lah. Make sure it's worth it. Don't just simply break barriers and break limitations and, you know, just be rebellious for rebellious sake. Huh? And then after that, end up, you know, uh, with all kinds of regrets. No. Mm -hmm. uh, up to today, uh, uh, Pastor Matt, uh, we've done crazy things. We've gone to uh, uh, our Christian concerts, right? And then come back at three o'clock in the morning. Some of you have been with me before. And then go for our service at 6.30, you know. Uh, and we've done it again and again. Why? Because there is this mentality of who said cannot. Wow. Right? Who said cannot. But when we look back, do we regret? No, we say those times were times where we just, 
you know, we were so alive, so excited, you know, people were blessed, people uh, grew, uh, faith was stretched, you know, no, re no regrets. So I'm just saying to you, uh, if you're going to do something like that, break limitations, break mindsets, uh, just don't look back and regret like this. So, uh, uh, and uh, I think it'll be worth it. Can I ask you something? <laughs>